This coverage is brought to you in association with Fraser James Partnership, where money matters. Well, with winter behind us, spring is in the air and at the Gites on Saturday it was Peebles against Watsonians and Premier C and it would be a fabulous day for Sonians fullback Jamie Forbes. But after a Mike Kerr penalty put the visitors in front, Peebles hit back with this try from Alan Warnock after good work by Davy Payton. But that would be the one and only time the men from the Geits would be in front. The Watsonians team, packed with seven specialists who love to play running rugby, put the ball wide and there was Jimmy Forbes to run in for the score. Neil Warnock very nearly stopped him from getting the ball down, but the referee was well placed to give the decision and Kerr converted. Then, eight minutes later, Jamie Blackwood passed the gain line, made some yards and looked for Forbes to come in on the angle. And with a clever sidestep and pace to burn, he ran in for his second try, despite the efforts of Adam Muffet. Watsonians continued to play expansive rugby, which is always entertaining, but this time the ball was given to Peebles' Neil Warnock, who quickly sent it out wide. Dale Clancy got hold of it, a good chip ahead and a foot race with Neil Dennis, but he did enough to score and Peebles were back within three points. Peebles scrum managed to take a few against the head on the day, but Watsonians managed the trick too. And from this one, they scored their third try, crossing the gain line once again. And just look who was sniffing around to break through the gap. None other than Jamie Forbes, who sprinted in for his hat-trick all before the interval. And with care converting, 22-12. After seeing 34 points in the first half, we went 20 minutes without any further score. Then on the hour, a loose ball was picked up by substitute Ross Aitken, who gave Watsonians a try bonus point. By this time, Peebles defence was looking shaky, and Watsonians went on to score a fifth try, and they don't come any softer than this one from Danny Musa. Ken Clyde got a late try for Peebles, but the points went to Watsonians. I'm Mario, welcome to Peebles Fish Bar. We believe we do the best fish and chips in Scotland. And we do delicious pizzas too. And the best ice cream you've ever tasted. Come in and see us anytime. Let's take a look at Premier A and Melrose's win at Glasgow Hawks. Put them five points clear at the top of the table with just two games to go. Hoyk surprisingly went down to Muir at Mansfield Park. Kelso now only need one point from their last two matches to survive in Premier 2. They beat Stumel by a point, while Kirkcaldy got thumped by six-try Jed Forrest in the other game in Premier C. In National League 2, Hoyt YM made it 17 wins out of 17, scoring 14 tries in the process, with Lee Armstrong now up to 225 for the season. While in the East League, congratulations to Duns on winning the First Division title at the weekend. A quick look at next week's games, including three matches in the Border League, and if Melrose beat Jed and Gala win at Philip Hoch, we'll have a Melrose Gala final on April the 13th at the Geits, but both Jed and Selkirk will have something to say about that. 
Kelso need a point at Kirkcaldy to avoid relegation. And on Friday night at Netherdale, don't forget to watch Scotland take on Ireland in the club international. Next Saturday, it's the quarter-final stage of the National Shield and Regional Bowl. Dunn, St Boswells and Hoyk YM are all involved in that. And the other fixtures next week are on our website at bordersrugby.net. But that's it for this week.